I, I very much appreciate uh, being able to perform uh, for you guys. It, it, it may not have happened, and I'll, I'll tell you why. I, uh, I'm an avid uh, cyclist. I ride a bike every day. I ride a bike every day, and I do not look good on a bike. I don't look like I'm doing it for exercise. I look like I got caught drinking and driving so many times. <laughs> I now have to ride a bike. <laughs> everyone in this room, if I saw you on a bicycle, I would think, well, they're off to a picnic. You just, everyone in this room sees me on a bicycle. The best thing you'll think is, oh, he's trying to earn the right to see his kids one weekend a month. <laughs> Thank you. We'll fix it in editing. Don't worry, guys. And I do, I do love riding a bike. I love, I love what it does for the environment. I love what it does for my spirit. It also offers a fun secret byproduct, which is I am moving slow enough to look in all of my neighbors' living rooms and see what stuff they have. <laughs> which is why I recently discovered there is someone in my neighborhood who has a hot tub in his living room. <laughs> now, every day, I have thought about knocking on that man's door and demanding to know how this happened. I think I know how, by the way, which is he was taking a tour of the apartment by the building manager. Him and his girlfriend were looking at the kitchen, the bedroom, they went into the living room. He measured the living room. He turned to his girlfriend and went, baby, this living room is big enough for us to fit a hot tub in here. And then she left. <laughs> So this January, I was riding my bicycle in Los Angeles, where I live, and I was going down a hill. And as I was going down the hill, my handlebars snapped in two. Yes, I am aware. I lived it. You guys are just hearing about it secondhand, and I appreciate that you all just went, whoo. Now, a lot of things run through your head when your handlebars snap in two. Thoughts like, mmm. Maybe you should have worn the helmet today. <laughs> and, uh, and I know what a lot of you are wondering, what happened next? What do you think? <laughs> I made it to my destination unscathed. No, I landed in the road hard and somehow got tangled into my bicycle. And you're going, well, couldn't you get out quickly? No, I was born without reflexes and eye-hand coordination. All I could really do is stare at the bus that was barreling down on me at what I would call bye-bye speed. And right there, I, I had no hope. I just went, well, this is how it ends. I don't like it, but what am I gonna do? And then a man, not a man, a hero, stepped off of the sidewalk, waved the bus down. The bus stopped a foot away from my prone body. And then that hero got on the bus and the bus drove away. <laughs> <laughs>